We know what's expected. You know, more importantly, what's expected. Hopefully we get the three points today and three points on Monday. This is now where it's down to you. Today against Crawley, got to get the three points. Boys are warming up, so I'm going to join in. Oh no! <laughs> I can't no. open, it, open into the next block. First 45 minutes, first pre season game, I've gone over my ankle. <laughs> so, yeah, not great. Just trying to get fit now basically saw a physio they reckon about eight weeks so it's gutting to be missing out but sort of the worst bit is i can sort of run i can strike a ball which is turning which to be fair i've never been able to do so hasn't really changed anything and won't change anything but i'm just happy to be involved obviously playing 18 to 23 last season got a call up for the first team then had to like sit out with illness but luckily getting my fitness back now should be a good three points today they're a decent side, got a lot of youth in there, so they'll be running about a lot. Been better days, you know, from Saturday, waking up, not playing, but yeah, I'm getting there, I'm mending, and it's come down a little bit, the face and all that, so I find out Tuesday if I need surgery. Um, so fingers crossed I don't. So yeah, feeling all right though. Just hopefully we get the three points today and three points on Monday. Kickstart us again, really. Got a call from the doctors on Monday morning and they said, that I'd actually fractured my orbital, which is basically the eye, and they said that there's a hairline fracture along the jaw. It is what it is, so hopefully we'll be back out there soon. Like I said right at the start, I don't need to stand here and preach or talk or go off on about everything that we spoke about in the last seven days. We know what's expected, you know more importantly what's expected, and what is important now is that you go out there and you work, I tell you now, you work hard and get control of the game, and you work hard, the technical stuff will come up. Okay, there'll be opportunities in the game and it's important that we have the confidence. Don't put yourself under pressure, we just go out there with the confidence. Just show that we're learning from the mistakes that we've already made, alright? Quality on the ball, hard work off the ball. Right? Nothing more complicated than that. Because like he says, if we do those bits and we do work hard for one another, quality comes out and we're more than capable. We've shown that in the games that we've played. But we've just let mistakes creep in. Nullify some of them mistakes, work hard, cover each other. Make sure we're not working as individuals as well. You work as units, work as pairs, work as little threesomes. Go and get the ball back. Even on the ball, little triangles, the possession we're doing out there, it's quality to watch. Take it into the game, be brave to go and play out there. Make the right decisions more often than not and you win this game. Lads, it's hot out there, it's humid. Yeah, get the ball moving, make them do the running. Dino's just touched on it in terms of decision making. We, we build the ball up, get into that final third, and then decision making goes out the window. Yeah, <clears throat> decisions in that final third, be clinical. Get our shots off, take our chances, put this game to bed. Early doors. Come on, let's yeah. go. Yeah. 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 And you join us here at the Memorial Ground as Farnham are back in action, this time against Hawley Town. Pestle plays it long to Bunyan. He actually does really well there with his chest. Brings it down. Plays a great ball to Tom Smith. Smith will be looking to whip that in. Corner Farnham as they look to build pressure. 20 minutes gone. Fitzgerald whips the ball in. And Dean's first to it. And it's in. Owen Dean gets his second goal of the season. Go on, boys. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Fitzgerald, lovely ball to Bunyan who flicks it on. It's fallen back to the striker. And he's played Hoppet in. Can Farnham double their lead? Hoppet's beating his man. Audacious cross. He's played a lovely ball to Hoppet. He's brought down on the edge of the box. Be very surprised if Tom Smith doesn't line this up. It's Smith. Hits the post. Hawley can end the 
in the half here with an equaliser. Ferguson's done well and cleaned up. No chance for a Hawley rebound there. Obviously today is no game for the 23s today, so it's nice to come down and watch. And having three of your lads sat on the bench is is really nice. Fingers crossed they will get a chance today. Um, it was good. The boys are really dominating in the first half, so fingers crossed that get a couple of goals early on now, and then they can go out there and enjoy themselves, and that will help us then bring on the younger lads through. So fingers crossed. I reckon you know we'll see Will pretty soon, and then hopefully we'll we'll um, see George and Cassius come through as well. But yeah, so um, excited. So and, um, really proud to see the boys there. Yeah. So we've uh, at last managed to get the scoreboard installed, which uh, was a bit of an event. Post had to go four foot in the ground, which was always going to be a chore over in that back corner. Um, everybody that's seen it so far has been really impressed. I think it's a big benefit to the club, big benefit to the uh, to the ground itself. Um, and I think uh, again another step in the right direction of where we're looking to be eventually. Regardless of what they're going to speak to you about now, well done, and I mean that because what you've done there is you are in control of this game. We know what's gone on in the last seven to ten days and you're now in control of the game. You've got to make sure that you go out with exactly the same attitude. If you go out there and just say, I won't jog back here, I won't put a sprint in here because we're, we're in, they've not really got this or they haven't really got that, this will be our undoing. You've got to go out there and approach it in exactly the same manner that you've just done for 45 minutes. From our penalty box to their penalty box, you've done everything that we've asked. <laughs> yeah, everybody is doing their jobs. It is being done very well. You have them in a position now where you could go and enjoy yourselves. If you do the right things. Yeah. The only threat now is a reaction from them for five to ten minutes. Because that's what you'd expect. Yeah, they'll get a fearful in there, come out, run around a little bit more for five or ten minutes. You take that hope away from them. Yeah, this game is there for you to take if you really, really want it. Into the second half here and Bucket plays it down the line. French uses his body well. He's driving at the heart of the defence. One, two with Bunyan, it's French! Good save. Farnham can't quite find the second goal. Driving at the heart of the Hawley defence. He's beaten one, he's beaten two. He finds Owen Dean. It's another impressive save. Farnham just can't quite kill the game off. One of the last chances here is whipped in. Ferguson claims it. Farnham looking to play their way out the back. Oh, and there's a mix-up. Surely not. It's in the air. Ferguson claims it. Farnham bounced back after two games in a row where they drop points to come to the Memorial Ground and get an impressive 1-0 win against Hawley. It's Farnham 1, Hawley 0. Who wants a beer? Who wants a beer? Well up, boys! Well up, boys! Well up, boys! Well we won because Flanny's back, okay? That, that's, that's all we need to know. And off uh, nah. Boys, well done. Well done. Enjoy yourselves. That's what we're here for. That's what we want to do is win games of football. We've won game of football. We can iron out, we can talk yeah. about everything, but we've won game of football. Three points important today. Um, obviously, bouncing into Monday. It's going to be a quarter past ten meet, just so you can prepare yourself for that. Um, and again, it'll be another tough game against them, so we've got to make sure we're ready for that. Happy? Yeah. Up yeah. the fucking gunners. Come on, yeah, then, come boys. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, no. Wait, I don't know how many fifty miles good I did. Good good. Yeah, Dan. Obviously, great result today. I know we've had a tricky couple of results, um, but great to get back to winning ways. Yeah, I think the last um, last week's been tough. I think for management and the team, um, being in those winning positions and throwing them away. I think. Um, it was in the back of people's minds, I think, coming in today. So it's good to get another three points on the board and get back to um, 
where we think we should be. Yeah, I think obviously in the last in the last two results we, we've given away a few sloppy goals, so it's almost more important today to to come away with a clean sheet as well as a win. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think you see like in the last 10, 15 minutes of that game as well. I think people are a bit on the edge of their seats, a little bit nervy. It was just let's get it over the line. Get we take a one nil, three points, and then we move on to on to Monday, fleet away. So bank holiday weekend, you know, we're back at it Monday Monday yeah. morning actually, half eleven kick off I think at Fleet. Um, how does the team go about preparing for that one, obviously, on a, on a short turnaround? Um, so club social tonight. Oh, best, yeah. <laughs> best way to prepare, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so um, club social tonight, and then it's, it's, everything's the same. It's just early. Mm. It's just early. So it's just something that they, they need to get used to. Bank holiday games are always early. So, um, yeah, have a bit of uh, fun tonight, enjoy the three points, and then recover Sunday. Yeah. Morning, Monday. No better way to go into a social than with three points, I imagine. Oh, much better than, <laughs> <laughs> much better than no points. <laughs> well, good so, win today, mate. Thank you very much. You know, I've uh, got a clean sheet, which is good, and especially after the last couple of games as well, where we've dropped points, it's uh, yeah, good to get the three today. Yeah, I was away last weekend, so I was was checking Twitter regularly and saw obviously we were 2-0 up and then conceding in the 90th minute again. Uh, but hopefully we'll learn those lessons, really. Um, and as I said, it's good to... Boys, boys did well today. Uh, I think we dominated pretty much from start to finish. Um, should have won by more, but you know that will hopefully come in the coming weeks when we gel a little bit more as a team. Yeah, it's good. To, like we've got a social tonight as well, so it's good to get a win in for the club social. There's a few initiations later. Connor's the one to look out for. Drama school, high school musical number. Zach Efron he puts himself down as, but now it's good to get a win. And um, yeah, the club will be buzzing tonight, hopefully. And um, yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> Dean's the man today, I'm on crossbar. That is not crossbar. <laughs> I always like these early kickoffs. Um, I think you should have sort of good energy. Um, even on the back of a game Saturday, it's not a lot of recovery time for players, but I actually think when you're just playing and playing well, you'd rather just keep going into games. So I think we've got a good confidence amongst the group. Pitch is good, conditions are good, so yeah, no reason why we shouldn't get another good performance today. I think it's important we actually do get a bit of momentum now um, and I think the group are capable, I think the performances have sort of warranted it but we haven't quite picked up all the points or scored as many goals as we should have done um, so hopefully after Saturday I think the boys are starting to realise what they're capable of um, take that into today Yeah, pretty much <laughs> Woo! That on <laughs> That's two in two If both of those don't make the vlog I'm leaving the club <laughs> There was one Saturday and there's one today. <laughs> yes, obviously away to Fleet. Um, I don't really know much about the boys to be honest. Um, but like I said, the pitch is the pitch looks nice, uh, nice and flat, a little bit softer, which is good. Um, so yeah, hopefully another three points. Uh, keep keep ourselves up there near the top of the table where we should be, where where we where we deserve to be. Um, I don't feel like we've played a hundred percent. So I feel like. Hopefully today we can do that, bag a few goals, um, and yeah, cl climb in the table, like I say, because that's where we, where we belong. Obviously with the 23s at the moment, um, Fergie's doing really well with the first team, obviously second choice, trying to sort of push, push in to get in the first team. Um, but obviously I spent a bit of time pre-season with Fergie as well, so obviously He's, he's an excellent goalkeeper, do you know what I mean? He's 18, fantastic technically, distribution fantastic as well. So, and a few, few of the boys are pushing in, knocking on the door. Um, Darrell and Darren are doing a really good job at the moment um, with the 23s. So, yeah, just all we can do really is keep knocking on the door and, and ask for opportunities. So, Bell's gone, okay? You need to now focus on what we're here to do, okay? We had a little bit of fun with me in a little circle. We then focused quite well. 
It changed the warm-up Dean did a little bit just to re-energise a little bit just to get us going and focused. You're going to be up against quite a lot of energy here today. It's important we go and match it. Let's not <coughs> and think what we did the second half on Saturday. Don't drag down to any levels. Be competitive, go and win the ball when you've got it. You create opportunities and take these opportunities today. Happy? Yeah. Good, Dean? Boys, listen, just start playing like a winning team now. That mentality to keep going and going and going. Match after match, start ticking them off. Go into it with the right approach. Go and put an intensity into this game. So I tell you what, if you start slow on a bank holiday Monday yeah. after the game Saturday, you struggle to get going. Yeah. Yeah, looking at individuals to go and set a fucking tempo. Middle of the park, fucking front three. Go and put <laughs> under pressure, the rest then follow you. Back four, stay fucking organised. You open your mouth and be big and strong back there and get this fucking job done. Yeah. Six points is fucking massive this weekend. Yeah. yeah. That sets a real fucking tone for the season ahead. Lads, this is the most together this fucking squad's been this season. Yeah, fucking show that today. Get three points, it's a massive three points. We go away to college. Come on, let's go, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. And you join us here on Bank Holiday Monday at Calthorpe Park for a local derby between Fleet Town and Farnham Town. <laughs> We're underway here on Bank Holiday Monday. The hosts looking to break the deadlock early. Ball's whipped in, there's a chance. But Tom Smith comes across and does really well. He's cleaned up by French. He's played a lovely reverse pass to Fitzgerald. It's there! Matt Bunyan breaks the deadlock. Farnham take the lead. And it's through Matt Bunyan and his first goal of the season. He's worked so hard this season for the team. And he finally gets a goal. The first of many this season. It's Farnham 1, Fleet 0. Oh, it's cleared off the line. I think that was a Fleet player. Oh, and Fitzgerald isolated the defender. He's whipped it across. It's cleared. Oh, and it's bounced in. I think it's hit Hoppet it and gone in. It's not how Birchnell would have designed it, but he won't mind one bit. Defender's cleared it. Dean's unleashed a shot. It's hit Hoppet in the face and gone in. But Farnham have pressed really well. It's Dean bearing down on goal. Oh, he's taken out. It's a penalty. It looked to be a penalty. And it is. Fitzgerald. Never in doubt. Farnham race to a three-goal lead. Yeah, the match is going well. Um, the boys have been on the front foot. Um, good start. Great to see the boys taking their chances. Um, that gives us sort of a bit of time to relax second half and start playing a bit more football. Um, so yeah, all in all, good half. Not 100% perfect by a long, long way, but I'll tell you something now, we are fucking now looking exciting. Honestly, are. But you know what I'm going to say now? Don't let these guys in back in the game. And when, since the sending off, we've gone a little bit off what we were doing now. We've got the ability to play, and I tell you now, I'd love to be sat in the middle of that park. I tell you, the space you've got around you, but don't go out there thinking, yeah, we'll just roll through this for another 45 minutes, we'll all come off happy days. Because I tell you, they get one, they're suddenly going to be tails up. Yeah. And we've got to make sure we don't allow it. And you know what's going to come. That ball's coming in the fucking air a long, long time now, and that's what yeah. they're going to be doing. So our positioning's got to be good, you've got to be good. <laughs> because you need to be able to talk to them. Just don't give them a snippet, nothing at all. Well, I haven't really got a lot more to add to what Sean has said, right? You earn, even a bit of luck, right? We've earned that luck. No, by putting, getting the ball in the right area. Because if we're not getting that ball in for him to shank off his face, right? We don't score. Yeah, we don't score. The frustrating bit is, they go down to 10 men and we stop doing the things that have been effective. That is, I don't know why players do it. Because we do, we can go down to 10 and we think, oh, you know, now I can do it over, now I can do this. That's fine, last 10 minutes, if we're 4 or 5 nil up, I don't care, go and enjoy yourselves then. But for the next half an hour, do the things that are really hurting them. I would be disappointed if you boys don't go and win this 4 or 5 with a clean sheet. Yeah. Seriously, mm. because that's now the standard we need to set. You've done the hard work, don't go and sack it off by trying to do stupid shit. Giving the ball away in the middle of the park. And try and show both stuff when we don't need to do it. They, they're going to come and have a go at you. Yeah? So get the first 10 minutes sorted out. Give them nothing. I don't even care if we slow it down. 
We don't mean to be running to every single ball now. We can take the sting out of it if they're having a couple of minute spell where they're on the front foot because that's all they've got. Take the sting out of it, walk to the throw in, set it up, and then get us going again once the ball's in play. Good? It's a very nice thing. Mm -hmm. Next goal. Next goal. Don't, lads, it's complacency. Don't get complacent. These next 10 15 minutes are going to be really, really important for this game. If you go complacent, we know what they're going to be doing. They're going to be hitting the fullbacks. They're going to be hitting in behind the fullbacks, down the slope, and that's what they're going to want. They're going to try and pick up little free kicks around the edge and set pieces. Don't give them that satisfaction. Get the ball, like Dino <coughs> said, two touch. Get that ball moving. Be clever with it. Don't get complacent. That's where the game will get away from us. If Bone 5 stays at the back, Every time he gets the ball and his head goes down, you know where he's putting it. Yeah. He's just left yeah. smashing it. Yeah. So just anticipate. As soon as he puts his head down, that's when you start to have that. Right, we're going to leave you now, OK? It's important that experienced players in this nice. changing room nice. take the responsibility now for what is going to happen out there second half, all right? Into the second half now. Farnham look to be heading to another three points. Can they add a couple more goals here? Smith's whipped it in. He found Bunyan. It's there again. Matt Bunyan gets his second goal of the game and his second goal of the season. Ben O'Round. Ben O'Round. Jimbo. Bergie. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, hey, he's got his super knock. Ball's whipped in. Oh, and Dean's risen! And Dean's put it in! It's five! It's a five star performance from Farnham. Owen oh, Dean has capped off an impressive month with another goal. 3 1 9! We've got a few men forward here. It's off the bar! Looked like Ferguson got a save and he made another save. Ferguson stepping up when his team need it. A tremendous double save from the young goalkeeper. He is desperate for that clean sheet today. Farnham's intensity is very impressive here. Oh, a little mix up at the back. Ferguson equal to it. He is determined to get that clean sheet today. Looks like we've got one more chance here for Fleet. Number two hit an impressive free kick first time out. Done a similar one here, but that should be the end of the game. And Farnham have run out five goal winners. It's Fleet Hill, Farnham five. Listen, I've got three points. Three points. I don't want to keep you. Three points. Okay? Six, actually. Yeah, we did, yeah. I just want to talk about three points, okay? Well done. We asked you to go out the second half, and we asked you to be professional and honest, and that's exactly what you did. Listening to you at the end of the game, that's what we have to do, every single one of us. We want people to be screaming, and we do not want to concede. That's being professional, that is being honest, and we must make sure everybody drives that, okay? Second thing, substitutions. Five substitutions there today. The first 11 that went out and got control of the game allowed those substitutions to be made and each one of you have then gone out and had an impact on the game. And that's important. It allows you to go out and express what you can do and it gives us then the trust, okay, that when we do put you out there, when we're only when we're one nil up or when it's nil-nil, we know you can go out and do the job. Okay? <coughs> Third thing is we must make sure we recover. There's a voluntary session which Dan will talk about in a minute tomorrow, but you're not forced into that. But it's important that we get, come back in ready and recovered ready for Collierswood Saturday, away from home, against a good side, and we've got to be prepared for that, because it's not going to be as easy as this. I just want to finish on one point, because he's just got in my eye line. That boy there was superb. Yeah, it can be yeah. straight yeah. Well done, Fergie. A long time watching what was going on in front of him, and all of a sudden, his concentration had to be 100%. And that, I mean, the touch on the bar is superb. The reaction to save your feet is even better. Well done, you. Well done. Good well done. Well done. Well done. Two games, three days, two clean sheets. How happy are you? Yeah, extremely. Um, you can see from the chances we've created in the game against Cobham, obviously the game on Saturday as well, that we're just 
we, we are this type of team that can punish teams. Um, they'll probably sit there and say that sending off had a massive effect, and it does have an effect on a game. But I think what people have to understand is we was in control of the game, we were 2 0 up, um, and we was in total control of the game. Sometimes that's harder to play against as well, isn't it? It can be. I mean, I, not when you're 2 0 up, mate. We knew <laughs> they had to get through the half, which they did. Um, once they come out the second half, we know they were going to do something slightly different. Uh, and so season starts now, two, you know, six points in yeah. three days, and we're, we're up and running. Yeah, but we've got a massive game Saturday. Collies would away, yep. good side. They've um, started well. They got beat last week by Campbell Air, but that, that's that, that's bye bye. This is his league, and we've got to go down there um, on their pitch and go and match them. Uh, but the confidence in the group we've got seems that. like a really happy group yep. at the moment. Yeah, and we've um, signed Rob Carr today, which will add another different dimension to this um, with this side and into the group because his pace, his directness, and his ability, to, his technical ability to be able to score goals will add even more to this. And good, good section of travelling fans as well. Yeah, good I, to see them. Lloyd, he always drags them over there at the end and he doesn't have to drag, He wants the players want to go out there and do it and it's important, those fans are important to our connection. Out. Yeah, and it's great and th those boys will thrive off it, every single yep. week they thrive off it and say we will go over there, we, we wouldn't lose all draw. It's yep. important that we do that and go and get the respect that they've come down here, they've paid to come in here to watch them and it's good to see. Yeah, good, quality result. Good Thank stuff, you, Sean. Cheers. Thank you. Top man. Most players have had a clean sheet, to be fair, but... The, the game was coming where we would score five or six and keep the clean sheet because we were knocking on the door every game, having chances after chances and not taking them. But we got rewarded today, so it's a great result for the boys. Two clean sheets on the bounce, two wins, so we're buzzing. We're buzzing for that, all confidence. Like we got, we got, we get our group together now. Like at the start of the season, we didn't really know each other, but now we're starting to connect and we're looking really good. Yeah, another three points today. Good weekend, vibes good, change rooms there. Just got to keep this run going now. Yeah, like we said, coming to the weekend, we said it's nothing less than six points. Needed six points, and we went out on Saturday, got that done, and a team night out as well, which uh, was a great night out. Great night out. Um, obviously, everyone brought everyone a bit closer, I feel like, as well. And uh, yeah, and then we still came out and got the job done today. Too bad, three points. Too bad, dominant performance as well. So yeah, it's got to maintain it and go into Saturday with the same, same vibe and the same momentum. So after a couple of tricky results, coming into the bank holiday weekend, big test, two games in three days, boys have passed with flying colours. Um, two really good results, you know, one a bit uglier on, on, on Saturday, getting winning 1-0, and today came on 1-5-0. One of those has been coming for a while. Uh, the lads are really confident, you know, they're really great moments there, that, which you'll have seen with the away fans. Um, everyone's buzzing. We roll on to Saturday, big game against Collier's Wood. Uh, yeah, you know, we, last week we showed you the lows of, of, of non-league football, this week the highs. Um, so yeah, tune in next week for, for more highs, hopefully.